Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to talk about Mage in Phase 5 of Season of Discovery. I'm still enjoying Season of Discovery and looking forward to the next phase a lot. Before I dive in, I want to quickly mention that I am releasing my second game soon. It's called VH Escape. It's a memory-style horror game inspired by Exit 8 and other anomaly-style games. Wishlists are huge for indie developers, and it's free to do. If you want to support me directly, head over to the Steam page below and give the game a wishlist. Thanks. Okay, starting with the coolest thing about Phase 5 is that the Croc Farms are back. Kinda. So, Crocs do have the anti-boosting mechanic that was introduced in Season of Mastery. The mechanic makes the mobs immune to slows, roots, and eventually they start moving faster. We are still able to do some pulls, just not as big. It's possible that when we get the Zanza Flask 20% move speed we can do bigger pulls, but not sure. Either way, there are some things we can do, and I'm sure with refinement and some displacement shenanigans, we can do big pulls again. I was not able to test if Crocs gave XP on the PTR, so not sure on that one. We should at least be able to make some gold selling Bijus for the first few days of Phase 5. Next up, most classes got new class-specific weapons in Phase 5. Mages get a cool staff that transforms based on the three types of magic we use. Staff of Order, Staff of Inferno, and Staff of Rhyme. They have some okay effects. The Staff of Inferno will be nice for AoE. Being able to apply improved Scorch to all mobs in the pack will be awesome. Staff of Rhyme is the most interesting. It looks like it will be used in the Frost Phase 5 Biss set. The amount of spell damage it gives is pretty insane. On to more weapons, we have two cool items coming. First up is Stormwrath Sanctified Short Blade of the Galefinder. It's essentially a caster version of Thunder Fury. The proc rate is okay, but the DPS you gain from it looks to be good enough that it might be Biss for fire, even on single target. For farming it'll be okay, but it's not going to be a must-have. The fact that the proc is limited to 3 targets makes it not the best when we are doing 30-50 to 50 mob pulls. In terms of raiding and speedrunning though, this weapon is looking awesome. Claw of Chromagus is cool, but it has some problems. Mages can proc the shadow and nature damage effect, so bad RNG on procs makes this weapon a little less appealing. We are finally getting a better rank of water. Conjure Water Rank 8 is being added in the next phase. While this is awesome, it only gives us 5100 mana. So for speedrunning, you will still be using Jungle Durian. ZG is going to make Durian so cheap that I don't see many people wanting to use the new Mage Water. Hopefully Blizzard buffs it, because I won't be drinking this sadly. Okay, so let's talk about PTR DPS rankings and Sims. I want to preface this by saying all of this can change by phase launch. We are still two weeks away, so Blizzard could easily buff or change some things. Take all of this info with a grain of salt. Right now, on test work, mages are middle of the pack. In general, we didn't get any massive power spikes this phase. Our tier 2 set bonus is very weak. We do use Netherwind, but we core forge it. For those that haven't heard about core forging, you can move the tier 1 set bonus to tier 2 gear. So we are using last phase's set bonuses for both Frost and Fire. A lot of our gear is also just very minor gains, and we still use a few items from Phase 4. Okay, let's talk about Sims. These are the current highest DPS Sims I've seen from the Mage Discord. This will probably change before launch, but this is an idea of what we are looking at. Both specs for Frost and Fire are doing the same rotation as Phase 4 essentially. Frost Fire Bolt and Bale Fire Bolt Spam. These sims are with almost all raid buffs, consumes, and set for a 60 second fight. For Frost, we are pulling about 4500 DPS. We are using 3 piece of the new ZG set, with 6 piece Netherwind using the tier 1 bonus. Pretty cool to double dip into both these sets. We do use Staff of Rhyme, so you will want to maintain Ice Barrier. For the rotation, you are going to want to open with Frostfire Bolt to build Winter's Chill to 5. It's possible you will want to weave a Balefire Deep Freeze batch in if you get a Fingers of Frost proc, but in general, you're going to be spamming Frostfire Bolt until 5 stacks of chill. Then, you will do your normal Balefire Bolt, Frostfire Bolt rotation, weaving in batch Deep Freezes as Fingers of Frost procs. For single target, we will still use Overheat as Frost. It's more DPS than Frozen Orb. For AoE, you will want to swap the Orb of Force. For Fire, we are pulling a little over 5k DPS, and doing the exact same rotation from Phase 4. Nothing changes at all. There are a few really cool pieces this phase, but the Tier 2 set for DPS is really underwhelming. 
Nothing about the bonus seems very fun to me, and the DPS is just bleh. Even if they increase the DPS of it, we are just weaving in a fireball every so often, so kind of meh. I was more hyped about the frost set when I saw it, but we aren't using the full 5 piece. You really are deciding between if you want to use Scorch or Deep Freeze. In general, you will really only want one Frost Mage at most though, so expect most mages to be fire. Anyways, this is what Mage is going to look like in Phase 5 roughly. I'm hyped. Might give Frost a go for Phase 5. Hoping Frozen Orb ends up pumping for AoE so I can justify playing it for speedrunning. Let me know what you guys think about Mage in Phase 5. What changes would you like to see? Also, make sure to wishlist my new game, VH Escape. You will probably see some trailers and content for it pop up on my channel soon. Take care, boys, and see you in the next one.